Hey, what's up guys? Action here with a new video. Today, we're going to look at the ASUS ROG Strix Z590-E Gaming Wi-Fi Motherboard, which is one another motherboard that can support the new 11th gen Intel desktop processors. As usual, I'll walk you through the board's basic features as well as the build video and short performance test. But first, let's talk about the box real quick. The box contains all the headlining features such as the support of 11th gen Intel processors, as well as Wi-Fi 6E, and other features such as SLI and Aura Sync. At the back, you'll find more about the motherboard striking features, which we'll talk about more later. So here's what's inside the box. On the motherboard, you'll find of course the LGA1200 socket, which supports the 10th gen and 11th gen Intel processors. It also has four DDR4 RAM slots equipped with the ASUS Optimum 3, which allows memory kits to run at lower latencies, reduce voltages while operating at higher frequencies. There's also four M.2 slots on board with backplate and heatsinks, two of which support the latest PCIe 4.0 standard for much faster data speeds, and support for multi-GPU configuration such as NVIDIA's SLI. Oh, and by the way, this innovative M.2 Q-Latch which enables you to install and remove M.2 SSDs without the need for a tool is a lovely thing to have, ideal for test benches and the like. In terms of power design, the ROG Strix Z590-E comes with a 14 plus 2 power stages partnered with the alloy chokes and capacitors in order to ensure resistance to extreme temperatures, ensuring reliability even when operated outside of the industry standards. It also has the DigiPlus VRM which ensures smooth and clean power delivery to the CPU, and six-layer thick PCB design which improves system stability and heat dissipation around the components. Speaking of heat dissipation, the ROG Strix Z590-E is well equipped with the cooling components. There's a VRM fan which we don't normally see along with the bundled fan bracket, VRM heatsinks which are interconnected with the L-shaped heat pipe, increasing surface area for better heat dissipation, thermal pads, and an integrated I.O. cover with RGB illumination on top. It also comes with debug LEDs that will help on troubleshooting, four RGB headers, three of which are addressable RGB headers or ARGB, and lots of connectivity and I.O. options. There's a single USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C and two USB 3.2 Gen 1 header ports, six SATA 3 ports, and Thunderbolt header. Meanwhile, at the rear panel, I.O. options are rich. Aside from pre-installed I.O. shield, the ROG Strix Zen 590-E has a single HDMI 2.0 and a DisplayPort 1.4 port for video output using integrated graphics and a clear CMOS and BIOS flashback button which aids on troubleshooting or updating BIOS two USB 2.0 ports for legacy USB devices, four USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports, dual Intel 2.5 Gigabit Ethernet ports, two USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A ports, and two USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C ports. There's also Wi-Fi 6E capable antennas as well as HD audio jacks featuring ROG Supreme FX audio solution with Hi-Fi support. Now what's special about the new motherboard? The ROG Strix Z590-E comes with a suite of AI features, which can aid the user in improving the systems overall, such as AI overclocking, AI cooling, AI networking, and two-way AI noise cancellation. First is AI overclocking. This feature helps you get the most out of your system by automatically profiling your CPU as well as your cooling system capabilities in order to predict and set optimal operating voltage and frequency settings. It monitors system workload, temperatures, fan speeds, and power draw at 1 minute intervals, and make real-time adjustments to ensure optimal performance automatically. The AI overclocking utility can be accessed in Windows through the AI Suite software or through the BIOS. AI cooling, on the other hand, automatically manages and controls all motherboard connected fans to ensure optimal performance based on the system load and temperature. Same with the AI overclocking, 
it is automatically monitoring and adjusting settings based on algorithms developed by ROG engineers. It can be accessed through the AI Suite software as well. Speaking of cooling, let me tell you quickly about the new ROG Ryujin 2 360, which is this AIO liquid cooler with a huge LCD display that can be used to personalize or display information such as CPU temps and also play short video clips. I was actually amazed at the cooler due to its improved design, quality, and performance-wise as well. Perfect fit for this build. Also, let me know in the comments if you want a full feature video or quick review of the ROG Ryujin 2 360. AI networking is made possible with ROG's Game First 6 utility, which features AI-enhanced algorithms that identifies usage patterns and digital signatures of applications, comparing them to a database of over 200,000 applications, and then adjusting application's bandwidth allocation depending on the situation. An example, while gaming, it accelerates and prioritizes game packets to give better gaming experience. Even though you're streaming high-definition videos or transferring huge files on the background, you can also see visualized graph of your real-time network usage. And the last of the headlining AI features is a two-way AI noise cancellation. It utilizes a huge deep learning database to reduce background noise from the microphone and incoming audio while preserving voices. Noises such as keyboard clacks, mouse clicks, and ambient noises are removed so that only your voice can be heard during gaming or calls, with minimal performance impact. Here's a sample of the AI noise cancellation feature. Alright, so now I'll be testing the two-way AI noise cancellation feature of the ROG Strix Z590e Gaming. So I have here the ROG Strix Flare uh, Mechanical Gaming Keyboard with a Cherry MX blue switches and an electric fan beside the PC table to simulate the usual background noise. All right, so this is what you'll hear when the AI noise canceling feature is turned off. Note that I'm currently typing on my mechanical keyboard with a Cherry MX blue switches and an electric fan beside me. And this is what it's like when the AI noise cancelling feature is turned on with the same buffer noise of the mechanical keyboard and the electric fan. Now that we're done talking about the motherboard, it's time to build a system which we'll use to test the said features. For this test, we will be using the Intel Core i9-11900K. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this build.
This video is sponsored by scdkey.com. scdkey.com is a marketplace website where you can purchase game keys and software keys with no hassle. scdkey.com offers a legit Windows 10 Pro key for only $17. This is the same keys I use on my PC builds. But to make it more awesome, they will be giving another 12% discount. Just type our coupon code XTNC to get it for only $15. You know, have your legit Windows 10 key license all set, but in a more affordable price. If you're in the Philippines, purchasing is very easy. You can use PayPal, PayMaya, or GCash. Visit scdkey.com now. I'll put the link in the video description below. So thank you, scdkey.com, for sponsoring this video.
Based on the test results, we can see how the AI features have helped the system to gain more performance, especially the AI overclocking feature. AI cooling and AI networking seems to work like a charm, especially when you're the kind of user that has no extensive knowledge of configuring stuff like this. And the two-way AI noise cancellation can be a hit for many as we are currently in the era where most of us depend on online calling or communication, not just for gaming but also for work. Overall, the ROG Strix Z590-E gaming Wi-Fi is not just your average Z590 motherboard. Being on the ROG Strix tier, it houses a plethora of features that you can previously see on much higher-end tiers. Design-wise, it is aesthetically appealing not just for those who are into RGB with Aura Sync, but also for those who are aiming for dark theme builds. There's a lot of details put into the board, such as the clothing label-like thing that is on the top of the chipset cover, as well as the ROG prints on it. There's a lot of customization options and integrations. It's a DIY-friendly control and connectivity options are also top-notch. If you're looking for a solid Z590 gaming motherboard to use with your 11th gen Intel desktop gaming PC build, I think the ROG Strix Z590-E is one option you should look at. So there you have it. Thank you guys for tuning in. This has been Action. So like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you on my next video.